Virgin here guys. Today I want to talk to you guys about a very touchy and controversial topic. Um, on Thursday, May 17th, 2012, a Spurs fan was suspended from school for shaving Matt Bonner into the back of his head. Alright, so 12-year-old Patrick Gonzalez was suspended from Woodlake Hills Junior High School for shaving an image of Matt Bonner onto the back of his head. All right. Now, in case you guys don't know, don't know who Matt, who Matt uh, Bonner is, he is the uh, he's the Spurs forward slash center. All right, guys. Um. Now, uh, since I'm on the topic of Matt Bonner, um, let's just go over his uh, stats really, really uh, quickly here. Okay, so his career averages. He's played 561 games total. Uh, this is his eighth season in the NBA. Uh, his minutes per game average is 18.9. Uh, he averages 6.8 points per game, uh, 3.5 rebounds per game, 0 0.8 assists per game, 0 0.4 steals per game. 0.3 blocks per game and 0.5 turnovers per game. He shoots 46.7% uh, from the field and he shoots 41.5% from downtown. So I guess that's um, that's the best thing that that this kid loves about a uh, a Bonner is that he shoots 41.5% from you know from downtown. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. So, wow, I have about four different uh, articles here on this topic. All right, guys. One is from Fox 29. One is from USA Today. One is from Yahoo News, and one is from uh, the Hoop Doctors. All right. Now, I'm not gonna read you guys the entire uh, articles because it's gonna take a long time. But I'll just briefly. Uh, read um, parts of it. It says, uh, Patrick Gonzalez was suspended for a day from Woodlake Hills Junior High School because the school district deemed his $75 haircut a distraction. He returned to class Thursday after after reluctantly fully shaving his head. Okay, So yeah, this was a $75 haircut that this kid got, which is pretty neat. All right. Um, Gonzalez says Bonner is his favorite player, noting they're both redheads. <laughs> uh, Bonner, whose mother is a teacher, says the school could have just moved Gonzalez to the back of the room. Bonner encouraged encouraged Gonzalez to quote keep supporting us redheads uh, in the NBA. Okay, uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez's story prompted the Spurs to give him and his family tickets to a Thursday's playoff game against the Clippers. I believe that was game five or six. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. But anyways, guys, I mean, I think it's just absurd how a student can get suspended for having a specific haircut because it's called, because it's considered a... Uh, a quote-unquote distraction by the school district. I mean, I and again, um, this uh, this school he attends is in uh, San Antonio, Texas. All right, guys. So yes, um, that's why he's a you know Spurs fan. Now, why Matt Bonner? I'm assuming it's for two reasons because Bonner is also a um, uh, redhead, and also that Bonner shoots pretty good threes all right again he's a career 41.5 percent shooter from a, a downtown all right guys um I, again i think it's very absurd to do this here's a quote from the school's uh, principal aubrey chancellor she says quote there was no permission that was given if the parent thought that then it was a miscommunication she also um, went on to say that whether it's the Spurs or 
whether it's the Cowboys, anything people obviously support, it doesn't matter. So, there you have it. Um, that's what the school policy in San Antonio, Texas is, I guess. Um, now, um, now the now the counter argument by some people would be that okay, so if they moved uh, this kid to the back of the class, so there wouldn't be a distraction, then they should make the same. Uh, I'm sorry. Then they should bend the rules for every uh, every other student who also decides to get a specific haircut like this. Now, I don't know what you guys think about that, but I truly think it's a pretty absurd thing to do to suspend, I'm sorry, to, to suspend the, uh, the kid. Really? I mean, he, he's, you know, showing his Spurs pride, you know, and can you guys just imagine the boost of confidence that this kid got from his peers? You know, and then to have it, uh, and then to be told that he has to shave it off, I... I, I most probably would have felt just as embarrassed as, you know, Gonzalez did. Alright. Um, the school told his mother that, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the school district told his mother that, uh, she should get a, um, written letter from the school to give, I guess, uh, permission to have this kind of a haircut. Not to mention, it's a pretty, pretty neat cut. I mean, uh, again, guys, I will post a link to all four of the tabs in the um, video box down below. So please make sure you guys also check that out because it also shows the uh, the um, picture of his uh, head. All right, guys. Now, <laughs> I know um, a lot of people said that uh, it looks more like Chuck Norris than Matt Bonner. Which I think it's pretty funny, um, but guys, um, I also um, oh, and um, speaking of a specific haircut or hairstyle, um, I also recall going to high school with a uh, with some uh, student. Uh, she had light pink hair the entire school year. All right, yeah, light pink. Okay, and she was never told to um to uh you know uh, dye her dye her hair a different color or or anything like that because because it would have been a quote unquote distraction okay but i guess um also but um but apparently every uh every school district has its own uh policy pretty much on on what's considered considered a um, distraction and w w what's not <coughs> excuse me apologize um but yeah guys let me know what you guys think about that do you guys think it was the right thing to do or do you guys think that you know the kid did well I mean not well but um you know the kid was just you know obviously trying to show off his uh um, Spurs pride because again he's he's a he's a diehard fan of the Spurs all right um uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, again, I will post the link to all four of the uh, articles in the box. All right, guys. Um, this is a uh, fusion. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and last but certainly not least is to always, always keep in mind that if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Alright guys, take care.